Hi guys and gals and kittens. So here's a little tool uh, we created literally in a Sunday. <laughs> now, the point is that it's basically ChatGPT with web access. And you can actually prove that by searching for something that ChatGPT does not know. To which point uh, WebGPT will uh, reach out and uh, scrape um, DuckDuckGo. It will perform a search using DuckDuckGo and then it will scrape the top five results. And then it will apply your instruction. Instruction can be anything, create a summary, it can be extract all names, it can be translate this content, etc. And you can also provide a URL. So you can see here now, this content provides information about the blah, blah, blah. It mentions that Ireland and Sweden have won the contact seven times, making them the countries, blah, 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 etc., etc. So who won Eurovision Song Contest in 2023? Answer the following question. So this becomes my instruction to ChatGPT. And this becomes my search query. Let's see what it uh, comes up with now. And uh, now it's done scraping. And now it starts invoking ChatGPT. And uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, Eurovision Song Contest 2023 contest probably is a better word. So this becomes my search query yet again. Now hopefully it's going to <laughs> provide me with an answer. Now you can also do uh, site searches such as, uh, for instance, um, let's see once this is done, building context, invoking open AI. And here you can see by Ukraine, Stephanie, by Kalush Orchestra, apparently. I'm not even sure if that is correct. Uh, you can also do a site search such as, for instance, site stackoverflow.com. Um, Let's search for mime kit, mail kit, send email. Now create a C sharp method that sends, takes an input, takes a, a to recipient email address, a from address, a subject, and a body for them to read SMTP settings from my configuration object. Create a .NET core c -sharp method. Do not uh, handle attachments. So now it searches uh, Stack Overflow for MindKit, MailKit, and send email. And then it follows my instructions. Hopefully, the point being that it is going to return a C-sharp method for me that uh, actually uh, allows me to uh, send an email using my configuration settings. As you can see here, it's uh, fairly accurate to address, from address, subject, body, and then it takes an I configuration object. You can probably have used some dependency injection here, but uh, OK. It looks uh, fairly accurate according to my knowledge about MIME kit. So let's uh, check out an article at uh, cnn.com. Let's find some random article. Hopefully we can uh, find something. Okay, Matthew Perry died just recently. Uh, analyze this content. Um, Create a plausible argument explaining why he died, which uh, seemed to be a mystery for some while. So let's see what the uh, ChatGPT comes up with now. Pending additional investigation, according to CS CNN, without specific information about the circumstances surrounding its death, it is difficult to create a plausible argument explaining why he died. It is important to wait for the result of the investigation before speculating on the cause of his death. 
And the point is, this happened yesterday, right? I mean, Matthew Perry literally died yesterday. Obviously, ChatGPT doesn't have access to that information. However, with WebGPT, it does. Ta-da! Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, there's a link in the description of this YouTube video to where you can try it out. For now, it's free. We might have to put it behind a paywall or something if the site is being hammered. Have a nice day.